My name is Vonnie Fussy and I'm the Research and Development Manager for Fruit Fed Supplies PGG Wrightson. Today we're at a tomato potato salad insecticide trial that Karen McCullum is running out of Canterbury. She has seven treatments in the trial. Generally with our trials we'll have multiple standards that we test our products against. The work that the research and development team do to support industry is we tend to work side by side so we can see where the gaps are in industry and try and plug them because we are working quite closely with the growers. Our trial work that we do regionally, we do the vegetable trials in both Pukekohe and in Canterbury. We test products both on the market and ones that might be coming onto the market. So we get a, an understanding of how those products work in the field and in different regions. With the R&D, if we didn't have that, then you know we're just going to be left behind. You know, so we need them to be trialled to make sure they're effective. If we didn't have that, then we'll be struggling. You know, we need those tools to keep the, the weeds and the disease and the pests out. So R&D is very important. This works very well for us. There's a potato disease trial that we have, but it always seems to be quite hard to get data for it, just given that it's a soil-borne disease. And I think last year I managed to get some really good results from it, and so it was really exciting to be able to take that data back to the suppliers. I get to see trials from the beginning planning phases right through until the end, and then also collecting and presenting the data. We put all that data together in a way that growers can digest and absorb and, and learn and take away what they need to from what we get out of the trials. A lot of the trials are based around what issues the growers are having in the, in the paddock, and we get that kind of information directly from the grower or through via reps. The new products that we are testing will be compared with current registered products that we have been using out in the field for several years and are the ones we prefer to use. So the future, from what I can tell for research and development, is definitely heading towards biologicals and softer options. It's also something that we're very interested in and where it fits, and the team are definitely shifting towards that.